Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, the um, amnesia editor because I haven't seen very many um, amnesia editors online or editor tutorials online. So, so um, the first thing we're actually going to look at is the the static prop tool, and it kind of looks like a Lego where you can press six. Yeah, um, six. So that's good. So and then. It'll it'll be on nothing. I mean, nothing will show up here. But um, so you'll have a once you click this um down button, you'll have a selection of things that you can click on. But um, to get started, we'll just click on Mansion Base, and then f follow our way down to Walls, and then click the default or default O2 one. And then once you click on it, you'll you'll you can just drag it. Uh, you drag your mouse onto the perspective I I um view. So so you can see so you can kind of see an outline of your prop right there. But um before we actually do any of this, we want to do basic um, cavern movement. So um to to move your camera, you need the push alt. And then click and drag to rotate around this little circle thing. But um, right now I've actually turned off grid, so so it's easy to see what's going on. And so you you can um, move around here, but to move the the little dot, you have to hold Alt still and then press you press down on your scroll wheel, and then you can move it around. But uh, we'll just keep it right there for now. So once camera mu movement's out of the way, we'll just start. We'll, we'll actually find the angle, the angle um, our walls facing, and rotate it to the direction we want with Q or E. I mean Q or W. So we'll just kind of make a little wall here, and and then um. Three walls. It's gonna be a very tiny room. So we'll just build our walls here to our liking. And right now, um, I'm sorry, but I do not know how to copy, copy and paste. So I'm, I'm assuming it's Control V. I mean Control C for Control Copy. And control, um, control, um, V for pasting. So let me just get finished up with our room here. A few more walls, and we're finished. Okay, so we got our we got our basic room here. No walls, but we need floors now. So we're gonna go down to tool number nine, which is primitives. And then um, go to the right on the tool area menu, and then click on the dot 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 under material. But it, nothing will show up actually. What you need to type in is you need to, under the material, you need to type in static underscore objects slash castle base slash and then click on the dot dot net ne next to it actually static object base oh, hold on let me fish this oh, I'm sorry um I actually um was trying to type it in but what you really have to do is you have to just click on the dot 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 and then go down to static objects and then castle base. And so we'll just select the basic floor here, castle tile floor, and then we'll just kinda click and drag in the area that we want it to be in. See? Um next what we're gonna do is 
we're gonna place some props here. So, well, actually, we need to place a roof. So let's go back to our area, and I'm going to find myself a roof texture. I want to make it slightly bigger than my um, room here, because I can always resize it. Click it, and then click on the little up arrow, the green up arrow, then drag it up. until it's right on top. Next what you want to do is you want to go to the the rotation on the right um toolbar area and then click the first one and just keep clicking plus until on the on the right view you can see it's straight a straight line. Then next you can drag it on the top view into our area so we have a roof Alright, anyway, so make we're gonna make now when it we're gonna need to make props now, so we're gonna go to the tool seven entities and then go to the right and click on the little down button and then find furniture or any of the categories you see here, depending on what you're trying to make. And then we're just gonna place a <coughs> nice little bed here. Actually we're gonna rotate it. We have a better bed in the middle of our room. And then we're gonna find some other some other props that we want to be in our room and click on the area that we want them to be in. Right. And then oh, we're just gonna put some drawers here, drawers here for now. And then we're gonna shift click on them, but or shift click on both of them, so we can drag them up. Just put them there, you know. Make the room look a little bit nicer. Some chairs here. Now, what we need to do now is. If you if you want some items in your map, because you do not start out with a lantern or tinder boxes or whatever you want, you're just gonna need to go to items. So locate the items category, find your item of choice, and in this case, lantern. Quick note: you already start you start with 100% oil and we're going to create this lantern inside of our drawer. So I'm going to click on create on surface and go inside our drawer and then make a lamp. I'm actually going to fix this lamp because it is it is um it's not fit, so we're going to need to make it fit. So, do it right there. We're actually going to create some oil as well. Go down to oil. And then we're going to go to, and I, I want a little chest in my level. So we're going to go to gameplay. We're going to click on chest small. Go ahead and put chest over here by my little chairs. And these items are already made entity, so you will not have to do any lieu of coding or just coding for these items. So next we're going to go to tinder boxes. Go inside our chest. Place, I'm going to place three little tinder boxes inside of our chest. And then I'm going to go to the light category. Mm, lamp category, I'm sorry. And then go to candle. Try. And we're going to go back to our drawers with camera movement. And then create one on each side. 
Now I only want one of these candles lit, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the candle. I'm going to click on the candle that I don't want lit. And then I'm going to go to the Entities tab. And then click on Lit. So now it is not lit. Okay. So um, we're about out of time here. And so in part two, I'm going to explain lights and particles and area and things you can do to customize your level along with doors. So thank you for watching. And